Hey guys, welcome back to one final hurrah. Season 9, abso bloody lootly the last season we're doing here at Cambridge. Last season, so close yet so far again. Three years to achieve promotion from League One. Three years to achieve promotion from the Championship. This is our third year at Premier League level. It is shit or bust. All or nothing. And, well, to be honest, we might go bust financially because we're going to spend every bloody penny I've got. We're looking to improve the squad in every area, really. More so in depth than in the starting lineup. As you can see, the depth isn't that strong. Nor is it that deep, considering a lot of these players, hopefully, we're going to move on. Just to raise funds, especially number of the youngsters that obviously are going to be useless uh, for us in the competitions we're going to be involved in. I've got a decent amount of money to spend. £200 million. Holland has left us. Doyle has left us. Both will need to be replaced. Although, to be fair, Holland has basically already been replaced by Hayward coming back from loan from Lazio. He's 81 rated now. Playing a number of different positions and looks pretty half decent. So... A, what do the board want from it? Basically, stick with me for this full episode because uh, we've got a lot to show you, especially when it comes to names on the shortlist and potential regens of real-life players that have subsequently retired in this save. Spent about three hours total going through with Twitch chat looking for various different players that could have regenerated in the save. We've got quite a few and are scouting a number more that we think might be potentials. With regards youth development... I have already sent my youth scouts out. We're looking for midfield-ish players, like technically gifted, physically strong, that sort of thing. Uh, we'll get one of those, if not all three. Uh, crucial first team player assigned to a defender position. That can easily be done. And a streak of five home wins in uh, all comps. That can easily be done too. Financially, finished the season with a profit margin of £280 million. I'll try, but I am looking to spend a lot of money here at the minute. Obviously, win the league, win the cup, win the Champions League. They want the treble. I want the treble. So the, the squad at present is looking very... Well, rephrase. The 11 at present is looking very strong. Hoobner's 88 now. Hoover and Incapier 84. Gwilt, McCallum. Stone's now 90, Gordon's now 91, Suri 89, Martin's 92, Falconer's 89 as well. We're going to look to move on a few players too. I'll show you who I've got on the transfer list first. Or I'll show you players on my shortlist. So, uh, Semenyo is transfer listed. We're looking for a new striker. We're getting rid of youngsters we're not going to use. Could raise an extra £10 million, maybe a little bit more. I mean, it'll all come in handy. And uh, to be honest, given some of the names we've got on the shortlist, we could really bolt the squad out with so much quality. This is basically a let's just fucking enjoy career mode in the broken state that it is kind of season as we look to get as much as possible through the door. So shortlist, we'll go through Handanovic regen, Kalor Navas regen, Wojciech Szczesny regen. Not sure what we're going to do at goalkeeper. Obviously, we have uh, Nelsildo Hayes as my backup, but I could potentially get someone better at backup, although they are either relatively expensive or unavailable. So we might as well take the Chesney regent off. Uh, Virgil van Dijk regen, free agent. Kind of an obvious definitely pick up, isn't he, really, to be completely honest. And for just 20 to 30 grand wages... Welcome to the club, pal. He's going to come in. Uh, we have a Modric regen in Nezhevic. We have a Miriam Pjanic regen. We have a Thomas Muller regen who looks... If I change him to Cam, I am sure his rating goes up. Hannes Schaefer, 88 short passing. Because his finishing isn't that high, he doesn't actually rate that highly as a centre forward. But I reckon change him to a Cam, he's an 85 or an 86. We have... Figueroa and Varela, who we're not sure who they're regens of. If they're even regens of people, they just look like they could be half decent. Although, he only has a one-star weak foot, so... Uh. Uh, we have... Actually, no, neither of them. Because Figueroa is centre forward right mid. Um, Paolo Dybala is centre forward right wing. So it's not a Paolo Dybala region. Dybala is still playing. It could be a pre-gen. Pre-gens are a thing the year before players retire, but still... Don't know who either of those could be a region or pre-gen of. If you have any idea with those positional uh, listings, then do let me know. 
Uh, we have a Dries Mertens region. He looks astonishing. Uh, we have a Bale region. Waiting on scout reports on a number of players. That's the Messi region. He's five star, five star. He's valued at 133 million pounds. Yikes. Uh, Broya was just on the list because Broya. Uh, that's rather obviously in a Bamiyan region. Robert and Boop, the Gabonese. We have, not sure if he's Cavani or Luis Suarez, but one of the two. Swedish striker. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, Zlatan region. Polish striker. Hmm. Hmm. Lewandowski region. Edin Dzeko region has grown to 85. And quite pleasingly, actually, at Wolfsburg, where Dzeko kind of made his name for himself before moving to Manchester City. Belgian striker. We think that's a Lukaku pre-gen, although we, or regen, sorry, although I'm not entirely sure. Then what we think is the Neymar regen, although Neymar's just retired, so he might not actually be that good. Um, what we think is an Eden Hazard regen, Jan Nais at Sassuolo, valued at 40 odd million pounds. Uh, Human Son regen, free agent. Like, I could snap up all of these free agents, we could just build a monster squad. Wilf Zaha regen. And this guy, another one, not a regen of any player in particular, because Dusan Tadic is just a left wing, not a left wing and centre forward. But he's spectacular. He's also five foot five, so he's only about that big. So I don't know if he's actually going to be usable at all. I am also scouting a thousand other players to see if they're any good or if they're regens at all. So, um,. It could be pretty monstrous, this opening January tra opening summer transfer window. I'm not going to go any further, really, than the end of the... Well, basically, until I've got a lot of the scout reports back. I'll try and negotiate a bit more out of Atletico for Semenyo. Uh, if I can get... I mean, he is 29. If I can get 37 or 38 out of them, then maybe that would be agreeable. And we'd happily take that. I'll take 34 for Semenyo. Adds to the kitty means we can replace Semenyo with someone else. Transfer budget increase. Obviously, our transfer budget, as you saw, is about 200 million. With player sales yet to come and a number of free agent bangers that we could pick up as well. I think, given the Blin experience, I might just... Did I say Ferlamendi was a free agent? Hiya! Hiya! Shortlist. I think we've just added another one to this. He's not a regen, but he's a free agent. Holy moly! Right, so I said I absolutely wanted the uh, Virgil van Dijk regen. So we're going to do that. Wants rotation. Fine. Uh, obviously, the board said they wanted a crucial defender. We could maybe use that for um, the Ferlamendi potential signing. Not that he'd be... First team, McCallum would still start, but he'd be much better at left back than anyone else that I've got. Obviously, Teddy Coles is still here, but I'm not going to pay 200 million for a fucking left back. It ain't happening, lads. I'm sorry. Ferlamendi, then. I mean, that seems like a no-brainer as well, doesn't it, really? So let's get Ferlamendi in. He'd want a little bit more wage-wise. If I put all of my money, all of my transfer budget, into my wage budget, I'd have 4.1 million in my wage budget. It's outrageous. I'll offer him crucial just to get the board tick and hopefully improve our managerial rating. Two years is fine. Obviously, this is absolutely the last season we are doing in this save before having one more year at uh, one more year at Barcelona before then starting the uh, usual updated squads, updated league standings save. Uh, not sure about any of these guys. Obviously, there'd be improvements on what I've got with Barrero Martins. Goyet isn't going to be available. Uh, there'd be improvements on what I've got with Barrero Martins and um, Provod, but I don't know. I want to perhaps improve elsewhere. Schaefer, I absolutely want. I'm 100% changing him to a cam. So I'm sure, I am certain, his rating is going to rocket from 83 up to 85 or 86. I'll say important because he'll go straight on my bloody bench. Five-year deal you want, pal. Welcome into the club. He says recommended wage... Sorry, recommend, recommended wage, 76,000. He will absolutely accept less than that. I'll offer him 55, plus the bonuses that he's getting. And he will accept it. So he's in. Let me, before I forget, go in immediately, change him to a centre 
Oh, sorry, to a cam. Please don't take too long to adjust to a cam. I'm sure it won't take long. I'm sure it won't take long. Two weeks! I guarantee you, he is 85 plus. He has to be. Just There's no way he's not 85 plus. He just, he has to be. I'm sure of it. Right. Oh, God. Then we have, I'm not sure about these two. Then, uh, Human Sons regen was in here, wasn't he? Think that might be Lukaku. Not sure. We'll wait and see. Think that's Neymar. Pretty sure of that. But Human Sons regen. Pyon Chol Ma. He's rapid. He can't finish, though, which is an odd one. I'm not sure about him then. Let me know in the comments section. Do we go for Son's regen or not? Do we wait and see what Zaha's regen looks like? Do we maybe go for uh, Azar's regen instead? Maybe Neymar's if he's okay? We'll wait and see what the, the scout reports say as we advance forward. But that's all I'm going to do for now. My contribution. You're welcome. Good. I mean, my scout, my manage rating is still rubbish. Although it is 69, so giggity. Uh... We'll sort out, um, what should we call it? Brain. Ah, where is my brain going with this? We will sort out development plans uh, sooner rather than later. I could even maybe use him at striker, to be fair, because he does have decent finishing of 83. But I'll change him to a cam. And then Hoffman can come in for Brandon Williams there. Uh, to be fair, I could probably sell Kornienko now, can't I? Because I've got, the I've got Fela Mendy in. So, Kornienko can go, and that might raise some funds to sign someone else. Or, we're just going to have a bit of fun, I think, in this third season. We're just going to have a bit of fun. Third season, ninth season, third Premier League season. Kickoff was 11pm for that. We win by three goals to two against Inter Milan. I am waffling a little bit, of course, right now for this episode, but do forgive me. I'm a little bit excited, actually, about what we could do this year. I'm just excited about just having, like, rather than being like, oh, try and be realistic, or try and concentrate here or there. Just going, fuck it, and trying to get what we can. Abbott, yeah, bye. Kay Gordon, no, you stay, thank you. You stay. We're going to keep Kay Gordon. He's obviously absolutely spectacular on that right-hand side. Uh, it's Philadelphia Union that are in our group as well as VRL. We have potential of 10 plus million pounds we could make from this. Uh, Abbott sold, Semenyo sold. Good. We have about 10 plus million pounds we can make from this preseason tournament should we win it. We have plenty of players available. There's no European competition this particular uh, pre-season. So everybody's available. Nobody's on international duty. And we're going to top the group by the looks of things. At the very least, we'll be level on points with Inter Milan. And top the group we do. Kate Gordon with a hat-trick, proving that we made the right decision to keep him at the club. Now, I'm not waiting too much longer for those scout reports, actually. So we should probably get something in sooner rather than later with regards to a number of players coming back. I must be scouting like 60, 70 players that I just didn't add to the shortlist. We've got some scout reports come back. So Felix Pearl, he is, we believe, maybe a Neuer region, but we're not sure. He's not great, so that doesn't matter. Paul Bauman might also be a Neuer region, although 75 rated, not sure. And Jackson Lacey is an English centre-back who's not that good either. So no, they're not of any use. There are some free agents that could be worldies. There are some that are just going to be rubbish. <sighs> PSG, can we get through to the next round? We can. Martins, Martins, Martins. Three of the best. He's made them pay. We will have Inter Milan in the final. Raising yet more prize money for our already rather hefty looking coffers. Uh, Incapié transferred from Inter Milan. No thank you. So, what does the transfer budget look like now? 230 million, 500 grand in my wage budget. Shape for position change. Right. I put my reputation, so to speak, on the line here. I'm sure he goes up. How does he not go up? With 88 short pass, I was certain he was going to go up from there. That's a joke. That's a joke. I'm sure I'm sure he's a higher rated cam than 83. I'd give up if that's where where he peaks. That's that's just nonsense. And uh, we might lose this considering the nature of our fatigue. I hope we win on pens. Up the Yellers. Pre-season tournament win. We can win another trophy other than the League 1 Championship 
and the championship championship. I don't think I've actually won a preseason tournament for forever. Pizarro transfer offer. Absolutely. See you, pal. Bye bye now. Uh, Kornienko transfer offer of, what was it, 21? Sure. And Falconer, no. Kirk stays for now. Well, Kirk stays in general, I think, to be completely honest. Right, I'm not going to advance too much further, but I am going to need to get some of those scout reports back so that if there is anyone else I want you guys to have a think about, uh, you're going to know about them. Uh, I have some scout reports here. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Kornienko sold. Pizarro's talks have broken down and Liverpool want to sign Keanu Hoover back. Piss off. He's going nowhere. Keanu Hoover stays. So, uh, I have had a number of those scout reports back. A lot of them were rubbish. I'll show you anyone that we've added that's new. I mean, Pineda, who is a Quadrado regen. 85 stand tackle is good, but he's, he's pretty rubbish everywhere else, so I'll take him off. Uh, we believe this is a Kante regen. Physically unreal. Technically, obviously still needs to improve. Uh, but has potential to be special. So, I mean, he's not good enough to join the squad. Definitely better options, obviously. But uh, thought I'd show you him. I'll take him off for now. Uh, we've had scout reports back now on Figueroa, who's meh. And Varela, who's better, but also meh. Uh, and then, who else came back? Correa. This is an Alexis Sanchez regen. We believe. Anyway, centre forward to strike. I'd have to double check uh, positions. Uh, still waiting on the bail regen scout report to come back. Uh, Belgazi. He's a Mares regen. Not that great. Um, let's see who else we got. Oh, this is the Neymar regen. 77 rated. Sorry, 79 rated at 17, unfortunately. Because he's only just regen this season, he's not quite good enough yet. Uh, who else do we have in here? Atta. Will Saha regen, not good enough. We'll remove him. We see, still may need to make a decision about the human son regen. Uh, still waiting for a full scout report on uh, Bamiyang regen, but he's evidently not going to be good enough. Uh, who else didn't we have a scout report on? Uh, Hits. Lukaku regen, we think, but whilst physically great, technically no. And then... That's where we are currently. So, players like this we could call up, could sign and move him to striker. Could, I mean, he's, he's 130 odd million. He's only 54. Uh, Pierce, we'll wait to see if the Bale regen's any good, but it doesn't look like he's going to be mad. 54 million for uh, um, Jekko regen, maybe. I'm not going to make any decisions here. 107 million for a Lewandowski regen. 88 finishing. See, that's uh, Zlatan regen, as we mentioned. 88 finishing again. How expensive is he? 86 million for Jose Cortez, who again looks pretty spectacular. So that's where we sit right now, really. I might go as far as the end of the month, because everybody, everybody has a squad now. Well, sorry, everybody has a team now. So anyone else that we sign would have to be physically bought, I believe. I don't think there's any other free agents there that I'd really want to pick up, other, other than maybe the Hyung Min Son free agent. We've got some more scout reports. We well, might as well look at these with me then. Uh, that is a Stefan Savic regen. 80 rated, not worth it really. Martin Mortier. Definitely not the uh, Azar regen. Bale, 82 rated for a Bale regen. Not really worth it, is it, to be completely honest? Branislav Bozhnev. No, definitely not a Philip Kostic regen. Mansour and Bai. 80 rated centre back. Probably a Joel Matip regen. And Boot, we looked at, we saw his stats were pretty rubbish. And yep, they are assuredly so. 69. Oh. He's not the Christian Eriksen regen. 81. Definitely a Mane regen. He's a bit quick and he's at Liverpool, but technically he's not there. So, no. So at the minute. The squad looks like this. That's the 11. I have Hoffman as a backup centre-back and Ferlamendi as a backup left-back now. Um, I might sign another centre-mid from that list and maybe let Provod or Martins go. I definitely want a striker. And we might get in one of the goalkeepers and then sell Hayes. 
and we might sign the Son regen as well as a winger. But centre mid, it's... Well, he's probably still unavailable. So it's Nezevic. I mean, physically, uh, he's outrageous. And I can't remember off the top of my head who that other guy was that we had in midfield on my shortlist previously that looked mad, but we didn't sign him. He was like a cam, but looked great as a centre mid. But I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I'm sure Twitch chat or you in the comments will remind me. I could bring Radoni back, but I don't really want to. Uh, Bale's regen will remove. So one of the goalkeepers I could probably look to sign, although that is a quarter of my budget. I could look to sign one a midfielder, Nezhevic perhaps, or that other regen whose name... Well, not wasn't a regen, he was a real-life player. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. It's going to bug me. I'm sure you guys will let me know. I could maybe sign the Dries Mertens regen. We could maybe sign Messi's regen, although he's very expensive for just an 87-rated player. We could maybe get Broya as a striker, or maybe... The Uruguayan, maybe Nordstrom, maybe the uh, Lewandowski regen, maybe the um, Edin Dzeko regen, or Nace. Maybe I do sign Pion Cholma. I don't think I want Georgevich because he's only five foot five. So it's basically going to be up to you guys what happens next. I will not record the next episode until um, you guys have had your say. And Twitch chat, as I just quickly glanced down, have reminded me that his name was Kozlovsky or Kozlovsky or something like that. Oh, it was something. Koz, he was a cam. No, it was Koz some. It was Kov something. Is it Koz? Kozlovsky? Masiek Kozlovsky or Kasper Kozlovsky? It was Kasper, wasn't it? Yeah, 85 rated. Physically looks mental. Technically looks pretty good as well. He's worth adding to the shortlist. So he might be a midfield option as well, perhaps instead of Nezhevic. Because physically he's mental, technically 88 finishing, but he's decent in the tackle as well with 82. Short passing could be improved. Nezhevic actually might be better. Although no, he's, he's much better in the pass, but nowhere near as good in the tackle. So Kozlowski's probably better than Nezhevic. Oh, it's up to you. So let me know your feedback in the comments. Thumbs up other comments that you agree with as well as leaving your own feedback. And from there, we will record the next episode. But hopefully you guys are looking forward to a pretty mental uh, for a ninth season. I will look to play more games this year than we have done in previous seasons. So it will be a slightly elongated season or series finale season. We might have 15 or 16 episodes rather than 12 or 13, which hopefully will include some cup finals as well. But we'll find out as uh, time goes by. But yeah, uh, we've got a great 11 already, some better squad players now, and we can further add to the squad depth we have with some of the players on this shortlist. If there's anybody else you think I should look at that's probably going to be very good by now as well, outside of, like, sign Phil Foden or sign Erling Orland, something like that. Let's not go for that, but give me an idea. Right, that'll be all for episode one of season nine. Please do show this final season some good support. I know, obviously, the views have really waned off this series now because a number of you have just had enough of my inadequacy of uh, not winning anything, and I appreciate that. But I'm still going to try and make the content as entertaining as I possibly can. So uh, hopefully you'll stick with me for one more year before we go back to Barca. For one more year before we then start the final save of the year, of the FIFA year. Which will be either Huddersfield or Forest. By the time you see this, you'll know who's won that playoff final. I'm recording this on Friday. I don't yet know. Right. That's all for me for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. It's going to be an exciting episode tomorrow, but I don't know what's going to happen yet because you're going to tell me. I'll see you next time.